Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, coming to you guys with the 13-game NBA main slate video. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. Hit that bell icon so you know when my videos drop and you know when I go live, guys. And uh, leave us a comment down below, man. I love hearing from you guys. It's like opening mail every day. It, it's, uh, it's awesome. You guys are the best. Um, so let's not make this a 50 minute fucking video. So what do we say, guys? Let's get into it. Let's slay this fucker. All right, guys. So let's bring up, let's show real quick how the DFS club did today. So let me break this so you guys can see it a little bit better. There we go. All right, so L Scientist played, it looks like college football, college basketball. I can't tell. I think it's college basketball, actually. Takedown. This man's been taken down like crazy, guys. First place, won $200. Congratulations, my friend. Um, college basketball, it looks like. Very nice, dude. Took down in two different contests. So won 550 here. We play every single sport, guys, and I mean it. And I keep showing every sport. My NHL line tonight for DraftKings. Nine times the entry fee, guys. You do the math. Um, so, yeah, it was a nice night. Uh, Jimp came in 41st, 130 bucks, And then my man, DJ Woods, what's happening, brother? Got a 287, 150 bucks. This is what we're doing, guys, at the club. We, and we play every single sport, and we're the cheapest, guys. Come join the family. S treat yourself for Thanksgiving, guys. DFSclub.com. Makes a great gift for a friend, family, neighbor, baby's mama, ex-husband, ex-wife, uh, person down the street. DFSglove.com, guys. We got DFS space, myself, Skywalker DFS. And mind you, we play every single sport, guys, because that's just what we do. That's how we roll. NFL, NBA, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, M UFC, College sports, guys, EuroLeague basketball, there's a slate on Thursday for that. All you got to do is click join now. Just click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And look at these prices, guys. Come on now. Stop beating around the bush. Come join the club, guys. Bronze, silver, gold plans. Look at these prices. Most providers charge our yearly plan. They charge probably more than that per month for one, maybe two sports. And I show you guys, we win every day. So we're the truth, man. Three-day passes for $7.99, guys. We do the members-only podcast one hour before lock. And let me tell you, this is where the magic happens. Space has always got that the, the hot tip. We were on RJ Hampton last slate when everybody else was just thinking about playing them. Space was just like, just put them in there and move, move on. Um, we have those type of, I mean... We really dig into these slates, guys. We do the NFL mon Sunday morning podcast. Um, you get our lineups. We do prize picks, uh, sports wagering, ownership, projections, top stacking, guys. And we play everything. You guys saw I cash in NHL, people cashing in NBA, college basketball tonight, guys. So come join the family. We're the cheapest in the industry, guys. DFSclub.com. Just in time for Thanksgiving, and uh, yeah, man, treat yourself. What show was that from? I forget, but we got a 13-game slate to talk about. So, one last piece of business we have to conduct. It's the sponsor of the video, guys. This is Draft Dashboard. It's $1 for 30 days. Click in the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard, guys. You get access to all my player pools for NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL. You get all my player pools, guys. The lineup optimizer, the player trends, who's trending up, who's getting in the old prison pocket. The P.J. Tucker's out there today. Um, a lot of people, a lot of prison pockets today got, got stuffed, let me tell you. They got stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey. Sweepers and studs of the slate, the position optimizer, and the NBA cheat sheet, because if you can't win, cheat. Best studs, best mid-tier, best value. This is Draft Dashboard. Click on the link in the description below, guys. Try it out for a dollar. Cancel at any time. No pushy salesman. No bullshit. Just, uh, just, just try it out, guys. You will love it. Just for if you don't use optimizers, research, baby. All right. 
So you guys have spoken. And uh, so I will use draft dashboard for now until you guys change your minds again for the breakdowns. Unless it's updating, then I have no choice. I'll use FanDuel for the breakdown. So off the top, we got Stephen Curry at 11-4 coming off a floor game. He still played 37 minutes, got 27 DraftKings points. I love playing Steph Curry on these rebound games. Last time against Philly, he got a 62. He's going to have Tyrese Maxey on him. So, yeah, Steph Curry is definitely one of my favorite payups at 11-4. Same with LaMelo Ball. Last slate with him, I cashed big time. He was only 8% owned, guys. People don't want to pay 10-7 for LaMelo Ball. And he consistently proves people wrong. Look at his last three games. 63, 54, 61. It's a juicy matchup against Orlando, guys. So, yeah. Give me the LaMelo Ball at 10-7. He's $1,400 cheaper on FanDuel. Uh, John Morant's fine at 9-8. He just really got me in the prison pocket when he got that 19. Man, I still haven't, I'm still having nightmares about that shit. So, play at your own risk. But most of the time... He's a pretty good basketball player, and he's under 10K. Why not pull the trigger there? And mind you, so the players that I'm pointing out to you, I think are going to make the 30-point club. The 30-point club is my system. When making your rosters, everybody that you're putting in your lineup, are they going to get you 30? How positive are you? Not maybe, not, you know, um, he has it in him or any of that bullshit. No. Is he going to get you 30? If not, don't roster them, all right? That's from any price range, any price range. So, Fat Fred Van Vliet at 7.8K. I still think it's too cheap, man. Um, OG Ananobi still might miss this game, so more production. He played 38 minutes last game, got a 37. Last time against Memphis, he got a 55, so get him in there. Cade Cunningham got me right in the old prison pocket tonight with no lube. Stuffed me like a turkey, man. And got me a 19. It was beautiful. Got in foul trouble. Played 28 minutes, man. But I'm going to go back because I love the punishment. For the most part, 7-6 is okay. Because it's the 9K players like the DeJounte Murrays who also have a 20-point floor. So 7-6, if he gets in the old prison pocket and the blowout potential against Milwaukee. But we thought that Miami game was going to blow out today, and it didn't. So you never know, guys. You never freaking know. Um, but, yeah, Cade Cunningham is in play at 7-6. Hopefully he just brings the ownership down. Malcolm Brogdon at 7-6. That's too cheap, man. He should be over 8K. Absolutely. His minutes have been cut way down. He used to play about 40 minutes a game. And you can notice this trend with all these Pacers guys. He's just sitting these guys down. They're all sitting. Wait till I show you some bonuses minutes he's been playing. It's disgusting. So I just worry about the minutes here. It's a smash matchup against the Lakers. Um, who I believe, did they go into overtime? No, that was the late game. Never mind. But yeah, it was a close game. 48-41 his last two. Don't mind Brogdon. Um, just be careful of the minutes, man. CJ McCollum went ham tonight at 7.6K. Uh, has another great matchup against Sacramento. This should be a good, juicy Game to target right here on the late slate. Portland versus Sacramento. Give me C.J. McCollum at only 7.6. Another player that should be at least over 8K, guys. Tyler fucking hero, man. This dude's amazing. He's backing it up. Played 32 minutes, got 46 DraftKings points tonight. 7.5K. They're on a back-to-back, so if some people sit, I love him even more. If he starts, I love him even more. But, yeah, keep Tyler hero in mind. Darius Garland is questionable, so keep your eyes, ears, and legs open for this one because um, that can open up some value in Cleveland. Ricky Rubio would get the start, I would assume, right? Because Colin Sexton's out for the year. Darius Garland. So I would figure Ricky Rubio would get a start at 6.8K. Sign me up against Phoenix. Uh, $400 cheaper on FanDuel. Next up, so if Jalen Brown misses, I'm going back to Marcus Smart. When Jalen Brown was out, Marcus Smart was a huge part of my 30-point club uh, roster every time Boston played. He would get me a 30, come hell or high water, and he was 5-1. He's 5-4. I still like the, the price. He's $900 more on FanDuel. Only if Jalen Brown is out. Give me some Marcus Smart. Forehead. Derek White, man. I got a big forehead, too, so it's all good, man. I have you know big hair, too. Check it out. 
Check it out. It's that Native American blood, man. I got all, look at this head of hair. Can't grow the facial hair to save my life, but can't grow body hair, but I got a full head of hair, man. Um, but yeah, 5.3K, too cheap, man. He played 40 minutes last game. Think about it. 40 minutes. In a close game, man, he'll play big time minutes. So at 5-3, I like Derek White. Uh, Jalen Suggs got everybody in the old prison pocket last game. Going up against Charlotte, 4.8K. I don't mind going back here. Uh, the price is about right. Definitely a 30-point club. Um, yeah, he's a 30-point club player for sure. RJ Hampton. So I'd imagine he'd be chalky now, even though his price is 4.9 now. The rest of the field uh, will probably play him today after we already played him in the last slate, and he got us a nice 36 and then a 42 before that. And he's one of these players, if the game blows out, He'll stay out there. So I like RJ Hampton at 4.9K. Uh, Corey Joseph, 4.4K, should start again. Hayes should still be out. 30-point um, club right here, man. 4.4K. Played 34, 38 minutes before that. So kind of scoring dependent, but blowout potential. But I still like the man. He might play in blowout run. Frank Jackson, too. I'll go back here. He's 4K. He played 30 minutes tonight, guys. I was high on him today in the Members Only podcast. He only got 17, though. But before that, he got a 25 and a 38. So he's getting big minutes. So don't miss out on Frank Jackson, a.k.a. Freddie Jackson, at low ownership, especially on a big slate, guys. Let's see. All right, so that's it for point guard. Let's go to shooting guard. Let's slay this fucker. All right, so... Zach Levine at 9K is good because I like the matchup. It's against Houston. You just got to worry about the blowout potential. Love the FanDuel price where it's $1,000 cheaper. Um, Michael Porter Jr. is back. So hopefully Houston can kind of keep it close. But Chicago's pretty good. And Vucevic might be back. So, yeah, the potential is real. If they blow like last game was a blowout and he only played 26 minutes. If it stays close, he'll play 36. So I do like Zach Levine tomorrow at 9K. Um, let's see. You already went over them. Andrew Wiggins has been playing like a man on a mission. 7.4 K another good game to target here. I think now listen, golden state blows everybody out. I never thought I'd be saying that before that the season started the best team in the NBA fucking go warriors. That's what's up. That's what's up. Keep it going guys. But Wiggins has been on fire. 7.4 K 48 and a 39 in his last two. Played 32, 36 minutes, and last time against Philly, he got a 37. So the price tag I kind of don't like. Fandle only for myself, or he's $1,000 cheaper. He's only 6'4 over there. So, yeah, I like Wiggins tomorrow. Let's go, Warriors. And no Shea Gill Alexander, so Josh Giddy should get the start again. Even a 6'6", man, definitely a 30-point club player here. 36, 33, 40. It's a tough matchup against Utah, but... Listen here, Jack. If he's going to start, I'm playing him. Desmond Bain. Desmond Bain. I had him at 8% ownership, and he got me a 44. Same game where I got the low ownership LaMelo ball, guys. If Dylan Brooks is out um, and Melton is out, you got to roll out with Desmond Bain, even at 5'5", five, five, guys. 30-point club guaranteed, man. That's, that's guaranteed money right there. Let's see here. We're going to over them. Chris Duarte, it's, so Karis LeVert is questionable. If Karis LeVert misses, you can roll out with Chris Duarte at 4.1. He should draw a start. Um, we already went over Fred Jackson, Frankie Jackson, Freddie Jackson, Michael Jackson. I can keep going, guys. I really could, but it's a big slate. Let's keep going, guys. Let's go to small forward where the forwards are small. Jason Tatum at 10-1, only if Jalen Brown's out. If Jalen Brown's in, I don't, I'm not on any of these Boston players, but he's just one of these guys that just uh, I just can't pay it. But I mean, he does, he's pretty safe. 44, 55, 65, 55, 47. It's just at this price point, man. I'm looking for a guy to get me like a 70, honestly. But yeah, he's gonna play, especially if Jalen Brown is out. Jimmy Buckets at 10K. Played 34 minutes, got 34. It is a back to back. It's a juicy matchup against Minnesota where he's done fairly well, man. A 53 and a 64 in his last two. So I don't mind Jimmy Buckets. I think he'll be one of the lower owned payups. Uh, Miles Bridges at 7'8. 
going up against Orlando, man. He played 41 fucking minutes last game and only got 16 DraftKings points. Imagine playing. I'm seeing he got 41 minutes and then looking and he only got 16. But last time against Orlando, he got 42 DraftKings points. So give me Miles Bridges, man. I don't mind going back there. Um, let's see. Anthony Edwards. I almost passed over him. His price tag keeps going down. He's 7.4K. He's $500 more on FanDuel. Pretty safe play here. I mean, he's not going to completely dead on you. So I don't mind it. He's due for a big game, too. Um, let's see. Josh Hart, 5.9K. I told you guys I was going back to him. Played 32 minutes, got 38 DraftKings points. It was beautiful. 38 against Washington last time. Roll him right back out there, guys. Uh, Lori Markinen at 5-4 is great value. He came back, played 30 minutes, got 37 DraftKings points. Going up against Phoenix. Now, they, they are a tough team defensively, but against forwards, not so much. 26th in the league. So, I do like Lori Markinen at 5-4. Small forwards just always the position, man, where it's just slim pickings. Again, I'm only pointing out 30-point club members, guys. Let's go to par power forward and feel the power. Don't you dare be sour. Giannis Antipupu at 12-2. Again, you guys know the rule here. Any player over 12K, they got to get you a 70 to pay that off. If you think Giannis Antipupu will get you a 70 against Detroit, potential blowout, 60 and a 61 and a 41 in his last three, go ahead and roll him out there. Vandal, he's only $500 cheaper. So, I mean, you can fit him in. You think the game will stay close? I mean, he's been known to play in blows, but last game, I mean, they were beating him by 50. So, he didn't play the fourth quarter. But Giannis is in play. Um, let's see here. So, bonus, look at these minutes. So, he's 8 5. Look at these minutes they've been running this man 22, 21, 26 minutes. Luckily, his last two, he's been a points per minute monster. 43 and a 47. Yeah, there were blowouts. I get it. But the Lakers, another blowout. It could be, right? So just be careful here. Be very careful. You might be lured in by the price tag, but last time against the Lakers, you got a 52. But the Lakers are just fucking trash this year. So potential blowout risk. So they could sit them for 20 minutes, you know? Pascal, Siakam, Malakam, especially if OG is out at 8.1K. Uh, 34, 47 in his last two, 34, 30 minutes like that. Tobias Harris is questionable again. So keep your eyes, ears, legs and open for that news. We'll see if he plays. Um, I was kind of looking at Al Horford against Brooklyn, Biggs against Brooklyn. But, man, I can't pay the 7-3. It's a, it's a decent play. But 7K range, I'm kind of looking for a 50-burger. Um, John Collins, 7.2K. Here we go. This man, he's been a man on a mission. 38, 35, 43 in his last three, guys. Plays mid-30s minutes. Love me some John Collins. Bobby Porter's at 7K. Now, just make sure uh, Brooke Lopez is questionable. So, if Brooke Lopez comes back, Bobby Porter's is completely off the radar. But if Bobby Porter's is going to start at center, 7K, great play there. And it's not going to break the bank. It's not going to totally bust the bankroll. Like, give me the, the choice between Edwards and Portis. Give me Portis all day. And Jeremy Grant, I pointed out in today's Members Only podcast, he would absolutely smash, and he did. He got us a 41, which is really nice. That's two great games in a row. Actually, three, if you want to count that. It's just, you know, potential blowout here, but you never fucking know. Um, Isaiah Stewart's going to be out again. So, Yeah. He should uh, have, get all them rebounds to him. So, so we'll see what happens, man. Um, let's see here. Jaron Jackson Jr. at 6'3". As long as he can stay out of foul trouble. You guys know the rule. He got a 37 last time against Toronto. Played 33 minutes last game. 46 DraftKings points. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Jared Vanderbilt. Kind of interesting. 4.6K. I think he mixed the 30-point club criteria here. Um, normally he starts. It's a bad matchup against Miami, but hell, listen, look at here, Jack. 37 and a 33 in his last two against Miami. Last three games in general, 36, 31, 28. He only plays mid-20s minutes, but he's been a points-per-minute monster lately. So, yeah, man, give me some Jared Vanderbilt. Sound like a goddamn freaking deep state 
Illuminati banker, but hey, it is what it is. I was all over Robert Covington today in the Members Only podcast. He was 3'8". I was like, put some respect on his name. You guys watched yesterday's video. I was on him, too, in the video. Um, did decent tonight. Got 28 minutes, 25 DraftKings points. I'm going right back here, especially against Sacramento, man. Um, that's just too cheap for Rocco, man. Just way too cheap. All right, so that 30-point game's coming for him, too. All right, guys, so let's go to center. Okay, so Centaur, we got Rudy Gobert at 8.7K. The, the, just the definition of a very safe play here. 51 last game, 45, 34 in his last three. He gets OKC, 45, 47, 49 in his last three. I really like this play here. Um, potential blowout, but I love it. Give me some Rudy Gobert. Um, DeAndre Ayton, 7.4K, another safe play here. Going up against Cleveland. They'll have uh, he'll be going up against the Afro, man. But Aiden plays good defense. 46, 37, 36 in his last three. Against Cleveland, 40, 37, 45. So I do like that. Um, let's see. We already went over all of them. Miles Turner, 6K. If this game's going to be close, I love playing bigs against the Lakers. So and Miles Turner hasn't been bad lately. 37 and a 30. 25 minutes, last two games. So. If Andy can keep it close, this coach will keep these fucking guys in. If not, he'll fucking sit the sit them all on the bench. So just be wary. And then Jakob Portal is an absolute lock at 5'7". He was 7K, guys, before he got sat and got injured and was out. But, yeah, 5.7K against Atlanta. Lock in Jakob Portal, guys. He's only $100 too more on FanDuel. He played last game 31 minutes, so he's back to full run. So, yeah, guys, get him in there. That's just embarrassing, that price tag. And that's it, guys. So I know I didn't cover every player. I don't do that. I don't just point out players to point them out to make my videos longer, guys. Look at that. We did a, a freaking 13-game slate in only 22 minutes, guys. I will be back tomorrow night, the night before Thanksgiving, where all the bars will be packed because, hell, when I was bar hopping, that was the thing. The night before Thanksgiving, everybody, all the college kids were in town. So we'd be out chasing all the college girls. So if you have time tomorrow night, check it out and do the NFL three game slate video. It was the night before Thanksgiving. And listen, all you woke PC people out there, speaking on behalf of myself and my tribe, we all are in agreement on this. Have fun. Have a great Thanksgiving, guys. We're not offended. Um, don't listen. These these uh, white liberals that are banning Thanksgiving because they think they speak for my tribe or my people. No, shut the fuck up. You don't speak for nobody. Don't. I, I'm gonna go on a rant, guys. Don't let me do it. So, yeah. From from my tribe to you guys, have a happy, 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 happy Thanksgiving. Uh, but, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow night with an NFL video because I feel like it. I feel like doing it, man. It's good. It should be a three-game fun slate. There's a lot of injuries to go over, but uh, we'll get into it, man. We'll dig deep. And what are we going to do, guys? We're going to slay that fucker. So my name is Gabriel Skywalker. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget DFSClub.com. Come join the family. We'd love to have you. Um we're the best in the business, guys. We got so many people in our Discord now. We're at an all-time high. It's unbelievable. Um, and we're winning, guys. We are winning. We're having fun. We're talking shit. It's beautiful. Um, and Draft Dashboard, the sponsor of the show, it's only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I love you. Uh, that was, this was a fun video. The views are back up to where they should be. The algorithms back up where they should be. And I have no one to thank but you guys. So God bless you. Woo. Had a burp there at the same time I said that. God bless you guys. God bless your families. Um, let's go. Let's slay this fucker. And I'll see you tomorrow night, guys. Take care.